made two cans of tuna. These were in vegetable oil. I went ahead and drained out the two, all of the oil. Uh, one green pepper, finely chopped, bell pepper. One medium-sized onion, finely chopped, small to medium size. all right? We have uh, six large eggs, which we'll be beating up here shortly with our ingredients. We have, for seasonings, salt, pepper, garlic powder, some chili powder, oregano. I've already made some home fries, so we'll be having home fries with for our side just to go alongside the tuna omelet. I seasoned them with a bit of salt, some garlic powder, and just a touch of oregano as well for some really, really good flavor. All right, we'll get everything propped up and get started with our delicious tuna omelet. So we're gonna do both of the cans, one after another. Second can of tuna. All right, we'll add in our finely chopped, small to medium sized onion. Our one uh, green pepper. All right, just start giving that a little mix. Looking beautiful, smelling great too. The smell of the bell peppers and the onions. Amazing. I'm going to start with a bit of the, um, with the seasoning. So we're going to start with a bit of salt for a taste. Add, add to your liking. Not too much. Some black pepper. Again, for, uh, uh, for taste, add it to your tasting. Garlic powder. This gives this omelet a delicious taste. Garlic with any, uh, garlic with any type of fish is just amazing. And this omelet makes it even better. And for whoever likes uh, food just a tad bit spicy, we like our food just with a little extra kick in this household. So I'm gonna use a bit of chili powder, just a couple, couple bits of that as well. Not too much. It's not really coming out that well using the small. And let me try the big one. All right, that should be fine. And we'll add in our oregano. Again, oregano is gonna give the omelet a really good flavor. Tuna omelet with the green peppers and the onions. Let's give this a nice beating. Mix up your egg mixture nice and well. With the tuna, everything mixed in together. Because all of those flavors are gonna be all, all around the omelet. I know you have the method of also adding toppings in the center of the omelet and then folding it over but try try it this way you're gonna love this recipe this is um one of my own recipes the way i like to make a tuna omelet been doing it for many years with green peppers you can add sweet corn you can add um, some mushrooms any type of vegetable really cut up tomatoes all right, we'll get the frying pan heated up and we'll move on with the cooking process. Get right back. All right, guys, I have a nonstick skillet here. It's been heating up on a low heat, very low heat, all right? I like to put just a bit of butter, gives your omelet an added flavor to use butter instead of just regular oil. So let's get that melted in your pan. Just gonna grab my egg mixture. Look at that. <laughs> it's smelling really good. All right, as soon as this heats up just a few more moments, we'll go ahead and uh, move forward with the egg cooking. All right, get right back to you guys. All right, the butter has been heating for about a good minute and a half. So I'm just gonna slowly pour, pour in my egg mixture beautiful absolutely beautiful smells great too all right so just spread around the green peppers 
the tune of the onions. Give it a nice spread, nice and gently, nice and gently. All right, we're gonna let this cook down, uh, cook to, uh, I would say about three minutes or two to three minutes. And you can basically start to put your spatula beneath the tuna omelet. You'll know when it's about ready to flip, but I will show you that process once we get there. So we're gonna let this go medium low heat, low heat actually, just a complete low heat. And we'll get right back to the next step. All right, it's been about two and a half minutes. This is slowly going. It's it's still got a little bit more to go. So just putting the spatula beneath it to check it once in a while. You can see there's still a bit of egg mixture that needs to cook up a little bit. So just keep going around the edges, making sure you're getting your, your omelet shape. So that original circular shape that you would get from an omelet. I'm thinking about if I will try to flip it over sideways or maybe I'm just going to use the plate method. I think it will come out prettier that way. Just a nice circular tuna omelet with your green peppers and onions. All right, we're going to let this go another two minutes or so and then we'll come and check it again. Be right back with you guys. All right, guys, it's been another minute and a half. It's going much quicker now. So just I was waiting for the heat to come up on come up a bit better with this oven. It was just taking a little bit longer because this is a small, I'm using the smaller section on my oven because I didn't want this to burn. So if you have this on high, it, it will eventually burn beneath your omelet and you don't want that. So it's looking good. I'd say it's been about four and a half minutes just on this side, almost five minutes, just on a really low heat. And I'm just letting it cook down. It's smelling amazing. Sincerely, if you guys were here to smell this, just the mixture of the, the green peppers really, and that butter as well. I let the butter get just a little, just a little hint golden when I was heating it in the pan as well, because that gives the butter a little added um, taste, you know, when you have it just a little bit browned when you're heating it in the frying pan. And then I poured the egg mixture over. All right, I'm gonna see if I can flip this over. All right, guys, I decided to use the plate method. So basically, I put this plate over it, over the frying pan, hauled it down firmly, and quickly flipped. So this has been flipped over and cooking away for another three minutes, three and a half minutes. So I would say roughly four, four to five minutes on the first side. If you're on a really low heat, chuck it, you know, occasionally with your spatula. If you feel like it's ready to flip, you know, chuck the texture as you're cooking it, going around your delicious tuna omelet. When it's ready, flip it over another three minutes on that last side, and I think we should be good to go. All right, we'll plate this up, and we'll get right back to you on the last stop here. All right, guys. So roughly another two and a half minutes. I just turned off the heat. Let it go for another minute with the heat off. Use the plate method again to flip it over, and it came out beautifully, beautiful. Here we have it, our delicious tuna omelet with green peppers and onions. Smells great. I'm gonna cut this into four pieces, as I stated earlier, so just right down the middle, and then right, right down this side here as well, just right down the middle. All right, let's plate this up. Oh, it's smelling so good. Can't wait to try it. Here we are, just so you guys can have another look. Oh, I wish you guys were here to see this and smell this. You guys accept the bite? <laughs> Tuna omelet. With those green peppers, I'll let you know. This is a great recipe. Green peppers and onions and with eggs. Definitely a great combination. All right, as I said at the beginning of the video, we'll be having our tuna omelet with some homemade french fries. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me 